Okay, right. I've uh, had a couple of questions. In fact, it's happened more than once. Uh, there are questions about using a, an ABBA stand because um, I do use ABBA stands and I think they're really good for the use on various bikes. But the Nuda um, can be a little bit tricky because ABBA themselves say they don't make adapters for them. That's because you don't need an adapter. Now, I have got two ABBA stands, the sports bike ABBA stands, and they're both identical. Um, but there is two ways you can actually use a single ABBA stand to um for your nuda now the first the, the um first thing is you buy a normal abba stand and it comes with this fitting on so you've got the abba stand the other side of it and it comes with those two fittings and this is an adapter so the first time i did it i actually bought what they call an extended an adapter an extended adapter and that's all you need so you could use that side and this side for the second, um, let's say, once I'd, I'd done that, I actually had bought another stand. And for some reason, I don't know whether I could get the extended adapter. I can't remember now. But what I did, I decided to buy another one of these. And I actually put it into the standard adapter, which effectively leaves me short. So I actually bought another, yeah, say, screw thread adapter, if you like to call it that. So again, it's a stand that's completely standard, but with the purchase of an extra um, screw side adapter. And of course, they're always going to have those. Um, now, they do these are just um, fastened in with a grub screw. Um, and the other thing is, my second ABBA stand, which is a newer one, if you look, they've actually reduced the size of this piece here so some ABBA stands now are actually slightly smaller so it's probably better to actually buy or do it this way around with um, an extra screw side adapter if you like to call it that so hopefully that makes sense but um, that's how I uh, prop up the Nuda right I've set the ABBA stand with the extended adapter on ready to pull the nuder off its back wheel and to put it on the stand but i just want to show you this now this has got the longer stem and the longer adapter and it just clears the footrest um just for the safe just to a safeguard i do tend to put um, um these zip ties on and just prop the um the peg the foot pegs up um but but yeah that that fits there as for the other side and this will actually be the same on both um you put it onto the bolt there so this would be a little bit difficult doing this with one hand but you put that onto the bolt there like that and then you just screw it in now the best thing to do is actually use nearly all the screw thread that you can and as you can see that it's not quite cleared but once you start using all the screw thread you can see now it's cleared again I usually just tie it up uh, with this so and and it once you as long as you secure it properly and it goes onto the bolt correctly make sure once you've tightened everything up is you know waggle it about first and then use the uh, the handle and pull it up and there you are that's it wheel off the ground i've got my abba stand set it's got quite a bit of distance on that side now this is the one still with the extended um adapter and if i take the foot peg off there you can actually see it's once it's secured onto the nut it still touches a bit so what i'll do i'll set up the other ABBA stand using this adapter now to see if there's any difference but this one as I said has got a shorter uh, section here so I think that's why I chose this one but it was a couple of years ago so I can't quite remember so um, but we'll see how that one goes and here's the, the other one so in theory this side shouldn't have any difference because this is the screw side and here I've just got a 
little bit of clearance there. In fact, on this one, you can actually see where from, I haven't set it exactly right. I've got a little bit more uh, thread out, um, but you can actually see I have caught it. So that's why I tend to just ensure the foot pegs are back, you know, by putting the zip ties round. Uh, right, on this side, you've got loads more space because it um, goes into the original adapter or the, that came with the stand rather than the extended one you can actually put this on and of course you've got loads of space now there is a detriment to this so although this part's smaller and obviously you get a little bit more here you've just got to be a little bit careful at the foot and make sure that the uh, screw is into the metal and this doesn't come out I just try and make sure this end is level and uh, by the time you've screwed it out and this is bent you know you've screwed it in and this is bent that way there's still plenty of room but you've got to make sure that's on because the whole of this is shifted that way a bit you know so anyway so that's the nuda again up on its back wheel uh right one last thing and it's about the abba do this uh, cross section here uh, for lifting the front wheel we well, can do but um i just it was a, a little jack underneath this is for the nuda obviously i don't know about other bikes put a bit of wood underneath there and you'll see unless you've got a bash plate you'll just see let's see if we can get let's have a look you'll see a couple of looks like a man, engine mountain put that on then put a scissor jack on and it'll just lift it up and it'll just lift the front wheel off the ground you can actually do it by hand it'll lift off the wheel off the ground in fact I'll, I'll show you right there you go so i've put the um scissor jack underneath just put a block of wood on, on top of these and the uh, front wheel comes off the ground yeah just just use something to turn it you don't need much just turn it this this my scissor jack's off a transit van for transit so and as you turn it, I'm going to do it half a turn, look, half a turn, there you go. There's enough to service or do what you want to your front wheel. And the back wheel's still off the ground. And, um, and the ABBA stand's still sturdy. Yeah, you can put paddock stands on as well, you can do what you want, but the whole thing's off the ground for the sake of a... Um, you can get these from car boot sales or you know, second hand off for eBay for about four or five quid and uh, and that's it so let's it down again and because it's not taking much force the bike's quite light you get a sturdy scissors jack which will take something like a transit van which and there you go it goes down that's it and you're not messing about with straps and things attached to that as well which, which is a bit easier so that's it so, I hope that helps.